So here it is, Positive Space 566. I don't actually know what that 566 means, but as you can see right here, it is indeed in the Guinness Book of World's Records. They are acknowledged as being the largest coffee shop in the world. And this place, I don't think this uh, on camera shows exactly just how big this really is. So, Let's go inside to take a look. Okay, so what's the point of having a place this big if the food and beverages aren't good? It's just gonna become a white elephant, right? So let's see if their food and beverages uh, live up to the size of this place. Bottom isn't really, bottom's not really well done. It's a little bit flimsy, you can see. But, let's see. Not bad sauce uh, for Korea. Usually they screw up the sauce. It's not bad. The crust is definitely too doughy and not um, crunchy or crispy enough. Zero crunch. Dave Portnoy would be very disappointed with the crust on this. Good cheese, sauce isn't bad, but just a little bit too flimsy. Look at that, you can squeeze. Right. So good. I like it though. For a $20 pizza, I thought it was actually going to be a lot smaller. Um, paying five bucks for this. Come on, five bucks. A little bit expensive. Uh, a lot of their coffees were eight, nine dollars. So you're obviously paying for the atmosphere here rather than the quality of the drinks. But to pay 20 bucks for this pizza in comparison to other things that you would find in Korea or in coffee shops like this for the value, I'm actually pleasantly surprised.
I thought um, it was going to be a lot worse or a lot smaller for that price. Up on the fourth floor, this place has a pretty nice outdoor area as well. You can see that uh, there's nobody out here right now because it's still a little bit chilly. It's the end of February, but you can see that when the weather's a little bit nicer, why there might be uh, certainly a lot more people out here when the weather gets nice. But a nice little option up on the fourth floor. Uh, they got good views and certainly a nice uh, seating area. So I'm sure once we get to April, May, June, July, uh, probably be a lot uh, more busier outside. What I liked most about this place was that it had a little bit of something for everyone. It had private rooms, it had open spaces, it had a kids playground, it had uh, you know a terrace where you can sit like stadium seating to watch K-pop videos, it had an area where you can sit on the floor. There was really a little bit of something for everyone. It even had a big hall. We couldn't see it today because there's something going on there, but there is an event hall as well for like birthdays or special occasions. If you want to gather 100 or 200 people, you can reserve a large party room. They even had a speak easy hall. So all sorts of different variety of places, a little bit of something for everyone. Well, it was definitely a lot busier than the last time I was here. So more and more people are finding out about this place. It's been open for less than a year now, April of 2023. So maybe you should check this out before too long as well. If you like this video, please like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Share this with your friend as well. Let's say go, let's go to Kimpo and check out this coffee shop. Please do. Thanks for watching this till the end.